Guys, looks like we got us a large copper. Mo, I got a large copper over here. Hey guys, get ready for an awesome video. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for good things. Hey guys, we're out here today with uh, Detector Mo, Ike from Rivertown Reddicks, and uh, Mo has something that Ike just pulled out of the ground, a little button. There you go. Oh man, that's nice. It's a little cup size. Yeah. It's got a design on the front of it, doesn't it? I think that's a shank side. That's a shank. Well, yeah, I guess so. You can see the seam in it, but yeah, that's uh, that looks like a tomback. Ain't a tomback. You sure? No, yeah. it's, it's pewter. It's it's not brass. It's too light. It's pewter. That's good. All right, here you go. All right, guys, we'll see you something. We'll see you with something good here soon. <laughs> hey guys, so got an iffy signal here, and uh, was amongst all this iron with the. HF coil, I was able to pull out a little tiny button. I believe the shank's still on it. Yes, it is. Take a look at this, Ike. Oh. Show the fellas. Hang on, let me see if I can get this crud off of it. I don't think I can get it all off right this second. I believe that's an old one. I knew I saw the impression come out of the ground. It looks like, uh, There's yeah. another one in here. This was right here in the side wall. There's one right through here wow. somewhere. He pulled her out. That's it. I knew it was there. <laughs> That's a whole one. Yeah. I knew there was something there. Plain. Yeah, there's a button though. Yeah. 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 All right, man. Thank you. Hey, you found something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So I got a little iffy signal here. Uh, actually, it ran up good. It came up as a 54. I don't hear any more, but got this little old button. Uh, a piece of a button that's been broken, but hey, it's another find. <laughs> All right, guys. Me digging these iffy signals. <laughs> All right, we'll see you soon. Hey, guys, Ike's down here in the little ravine. Ike, what'd you get? We got a big portion of a bean pot. Man, that's awesome. The leg and all. That is awesome. It is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mo's somewhere around here. So I guess we're going to hike on out, but uh, we'll keep moving. All right, guys, see you soon. Well, but you never know. Well, let's see what Ike's getting here. He said he got a good signal. You got everything's root bound, but it's it's good. Sound like you got it out. There's Mo. <laughs> What's, What's going on? What is this? Wait. Sweet shotgun shell, baby. All right. 12 Georgia button. 12 Georgia button, huh? All right. <laughs> hey guys, check out this beautiful scenery out here. Got uh, Mo and Ike just up ahead. Got a beautiful view. Of a nice Martian. Looks like maybe a river out there. It's pretty cool. All right, we'll see you soon when we find something. All right, guys, we got a signal here amongst this brick. Let's see if we can find it. It came out of 93. Should be right here in my hand. Nope. Let's see what we got. I feel something. No. Nope. It may be out. Yep, I got it. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, I really think it's just going to be an old tack of sorts. An old nail. That was my squeaker. All right. We're right next to a big cellar hole, so see y'all soon. Guys, looks like we got us a large copper. Mo, I got a large copper over here. Got it amongst this iron. I can't rightly tell what it is. Looks to be pretty smooth. Um, I don't see any detail. It may be completely wiped, but it's definitely a copper. Well, I don't know. We got a little bit of a profile here. Um... I don't want to wipe it too much. 
Yeah, I think I could see King George II right there. Maybe. It's got a little bit of detail on the front. All right. There's a uh, nice copper to check off the list. I can't, I'm still trying to see what it says. I got a King George II here. Coin? Yeah, large one. I'm gonna let Mo have a look at this and see if he can get any more detail off of it. Yeah, it came up a solid 85 amongst this iron. I was able to get her right out. She's got some weight to her. Nice copper. I can see the head facing, but you have to look at it just right. Have a look at that, Mo, see what you think. It's definitely a copper coin. Yeah. The but it's a skinny head, that's why I think it's a second, maybe. Could be. Yeah. See wow. it? <laughs> Came up as a solid 85 right here out of this hole. Amongst the brick and the iron. Wow. <laughs> it's hard to tell to get detail, but... Man, I can tell you this, that's my first old coin that I've dug. Besides a, uh, a weedy. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see... Definitely a face. Yeah. I can't tell which way it's looking though. It's still a cool find, I think. <laughs> Congrats, man. Thanks, Mo. <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna go over here and check out Mo. He's uh, he's digging something. If you haven't checked out his channel, it's Detector Mo on YouTube. He's got some really good content. We'll see what he's pulling out of the hole here. What's up? What's going on, Mo? Oh, iffy. Hey, them iffy signals are the best, man. <laughs> what do you think so far? Is the is the dais is beating the equinox? <laughs> so far, I hear it right there. Uh, man, hopefully it sounds good. I don't know. It sounded good. Brick. That's that's, little, that's where my copper was amongst brick. Is that little tip right there? I don't know, it's something brass. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I pick up no, some maybe piece of pewter. Pewter? Could have been part of a button. That's just deteriorated. Is that a piece of pewter is what that is? Yeah. In my book, I just say it's junk. Yeah. 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 And as Ike says, leave it right. <laughs> All right, guys. So I was digging down. I got a pretty good little signal. Got this piece. It's hollow. Little point. Not for sure exactly what it is. I'll have to check with Mo on that one. But nevertheless, it's a relic. <laughs> Put it in the pouch and move on. All right, let's see. I think everybody else is, is maybe around the cellar hole, but I'm still enjoying the view of that nice water out there. That's awesome. All right. See you soon. Hey, guys, you can see Ike from Rivertown Relics. He's swinging away there. Mo has got something over here. Oh, Mo, that sounds good. See what we got. Yeah. What you got? It's a rimfire casing. Oh, that's pretty cool, guys. Check that out. Let's it's see. not time frame. It's no. a little bit earlier. I mean, uh, later. Later, but it's still pretty cool. All right, guys. There we go. There you go, Mom. Good, right, good find. A... <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, folks, I have a rimfire casing. All right. We're going to meander back over this way. You can see this second cellar hole here. Got a nice big tree growing up out of it. All right, guys, let me get back over to my machine. Hey, guys, so it looks like I uh, dug the uh, tip of a uh, skeleton key. I'll see if I can find the rest of it. That is doubtful within this iron right here, but still, nevertheless, a pretty cool find. 
out of this uh, cellar hole here. So, all right, we'll get moving. Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Ike from Rivertown Relics, and he got the only piece of silver for the day. Look at that. That is nice. That looks like, I don't know, that could have been to a locket, I suppose, huh? Could be. All right, then we got Danny from Hurricane Alley Re Relic, Re Relic Rescue. Relic here. Yep. Uh, all right, we're here with Mo. Oh, oh yeah, everything's root bound. He's got a decent little signal here. We're gonna see what he gets out. Let me put this machine over this direction. Sound pretty good though. Out. Yeah. I know that can't be it. It sounds like iron. Does it? I don't know, man. That's it. I've been having a lot of stuff hiding behind iron today. Oh. There's something definitely there that's non ferrous. I can tell you that. What you got? A little piece of lead. A little piece of lead. Yeah, that is. <laughs> hey, a little piece of lead makes a big piece of lead. That's right. That's what it is. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, guys. This is Aaron with Metal Detecting SC. Uh, we're finished for the day. You got Mo here with uh, Detector Mo. Detector Mo, and then we got Mr. Elton. Mr. Elton. You want to tell them who you are? I'm Willie Diggett, Hurricane Alley Relic Rescue Team. Guys, check him out on YouTube. Check out Detector Mo as well. Here's what he got here. He got a nice, nice piece. Oh, he got a nice diaper there, a nice piece of colonial shoe buckle, and a beautiful, beautiful key, skeleton key. Man, that is just awesome. Here, and uh, we're getting our finds. Ike from Rivertown Relics is over there. Ike, bring your finds over. He's on the phone. <laughs> All right, here's what Elton's got. He got his brass. He got a piece of brass. It probably could have been maybe a piece of button. You never know. Got some nice things here, some shotgun shells, some nails, and a bullet, and what is that, a button? I think it's a uh, flat buckshot. Okay, nice. Yeah. All right. Pistol and then, and that's yeah. it for me. It's just pieces of pewter and a rim fire casing. Well, Mo, you got some good stuff, and then I got my first old coin today, and this little finial piece, and a flat button. And then we got another piece of a older button, and a piece of a skeleton key. So we'll see about, uh, I, I guess Ike's, I don't know if he'll be in the roundup or not. <laughs> well, Mo, it was sure enough good hunting with you today. Yeah, it was fun. All right. You did pretty well. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. Congrats on the, on the coin. All right, man. All right. Anybody want to say anything more? It was fun. It was fun, guys. It was, it was fun. Good collaboration. Yeah. Good collaboration. It was. It was. Say some history. That we did. And share it. That we did. And we cleaned up the environment somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you soon. <laughs>